Mr. Speaker, it's my pleasure to rise to welcome one of Canada's honorary citizens back to the soil of our great country today, His Holiness the Dalai Lama, who arrived in Vancouver about an hour ago. Mr. Speaker, it was an honour for me to move the unanimous motion in this House in 2006 to convey honorary citizenship on His Holiness and to have met with him on a number of occasions since. That's because his teaching on enlightenment and empowerment are a lesson for all of us and reflective of the values of freedom, democracy and human rights that we as Canadians cherish. During this week in Vancouver, the Dalai Lama will be giving a series of talks and lectures, including a lecture at UBC in support of the Tibetan Resettlement Project and a session with CEOs of small businesses about ethics. Mr. Speaker, on Friday, some of the members of this House, as well as the Upper Chamber, will meet with the Dalai Lama under the auspices of the Parliamentary Friends of Tibet. We all know the ongoing situation in Tibet is of grave concern to His Holiness, as well as my colleagues, and I pray that their meeting is fruitful and that future generations of Tibetans finally experience the hope and freedom they so long have desired. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Really?